what's up everyone hi how are you um welcome to Riley farmer you know guys this is world's best doctor's channel if you're new here hi my name is linda i am a proud pharmacist by profession i practice in kenya and in this channel i just talk about everything about your health and your medicines since i'm a pharmacist i specialize in medicines so um if you're new here please hit the subscribe button if you're a continuous subscriber thank you so much so um thank you so much for the overwhelming support that i'm getting from you guys and uh today's topic is actually based on one of the comments that i saw in one of my recent videos where i was asking people about like who is a pharmacist and stuff then um one of the reason one one person said this very interesting and educative keep doing this especially in helping common monanchi to avoid buying overpriced or fake medicines so i saw this comment and i thought like yeah it's wise for me to actually talk about fake medicines so today i am going to educate you about uh, fake medicines how to identify fake medicines and why fake medicines are not supposed to be tolerated in any way and what to do in case you come up in so in case you come across a fake medicine so i'll start by defining what a fake medicine is basically a fake medicine is um, a medicine that has been manufactured and it's produced with an intention of deceiving uh, the general population so what these other people do what these people who produce counterfeit or so-called fake medicine they produce this medicine in a manner that will likely look like um, a genuine product for example now i have my two pens here by the demonstrate um, first i have to put a disclaimer that one these ones are only for demonstration purposes even for this is only written for demonstration only and um this doesn't mean that these ones are counterfeited products they're genuine i was uh, just given for demonstration purposes so i'll only strictly use them for demonstration and disclaimer i'm not going to promote this one i'm not um, using this to promote this pens or something like that i am just using them to explain so that people can understand what i'm trying to put across so yeah so the first point on how to identify a fake medicine is by looking at the appearance so for example i'll take maybe this is one and two so one is the original and the other one is the fake medicine or one is the generic and the other one is the fake so i'll just say maybe this is the genuine this is the counterfeit so if you want to maybe spot a difference you look at the physical appearance so for instance if you see these two pens here they have these red markings and red lines so for example if you want to uh, check whether one is a counterfeit you might want to look at the appearance of the red lines so for example one 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 uh, the original one you can see that the original color is a bit dark red but you might find out that if the other product is counterfeited maybe these lines will be very uh, very light in color light red or for example you can also look at the thickness so if you look at the thickness of the red lines you might find out that maybe the counterfeit is thinner or thicker than the original one so it's important to inspect the physical appearance then also you can look at even the color blue the blue color so if you look at it maybe if one was counterfeited it would have been maybe a lighter shade of blue or something like that so physical inspection is important to notice the difference so you can inspect the product either by looking at the packaging so you look at the uh, blister pack in case of your tablet in case of your injections you look at the vial in case of your pens you look at how they look like so the outer appearance so you can look like you can look at the box first of all then you can also look at how the tablets or capsules or whatever look like so for example uh, in this case maybe uh, you can see that the liquid is clear then if it were counterfeited maybe this one would be much more uh, whiter or a different color so to speak so you can also physically inspect your product if it's a tablet maybe you can find out that one is a another shade of white like different shade of white different shades of red different shades of colors also you can look at the imprints on the tablet some tablets usually have like letters on them they have like um imprints on them score line so you can look at the difference and just see like one looks obviously odd it doesn't look normal so if you are 
person who like if you are at the pharmacy you can actually inspect your drugs look at them like compare because you know what these tablets always look like if you are a patient and you take these drugs regularly look at them and you can actually notice the difference the second thing that you want to look out for is the spelling errors so for example this one uh, has been written maybe test medium there's something called test medium in it uh, so if you look at maybe the counterfeited it might be written something like uh, test then they have misspelled so you can just see like there's a difference in the misspelling and that is counterfeited for example um, in Kenya I would use some for example we know the brand Victoria's Secret we know Gucci so there's always this joke that when you go to give the lie you can be sold for different things for example if it's an Adidas it can be Abibas something like that if it's Gucci it can be Gucci something like that so you see the spelling error it can tell you that this drug is fake and this drug is the original one so by just looking at the spelling of the medicine that you know then you can tell that this medicine is counterfeited another way that you can look at that is the language differences so for example um, and for this I'll be very very clear um, in Kenya there's supposed to be uh, English and Swahili that's the standard but then sometimes you get drugs that are coming in from different countries and they have uh, different languages for language I'll be very specific because there are some medicines that people bring in which are parallel importation again I'll do another uh, video on parallel importation to just exactly tell you what it is all about so if sometimes uh, it comes in a different language yes it could be genuine but um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is a counterfeited medicine or a fake medicine so the language it could go either way but if you look at it and then it's a different language then yeah this medicine first of all is not supposed to be in the kenyan market if it has a different language because it's supposed to be in english and swahili i have seen uh, some medicines going around they have a language in Turkey yeah, those are parallel imports but at the end of the day yeah you have to be vigilant about the language that is written on your product because your yeah, counterfeiters might use that and say yeah this is a parallel import yet it is, it is a counterfeit medicine another way that you can look at another way to identify a counterfeit medicine it could be the state of the packaging yeah so if you look at um, an originator not really a, an originator molecule if you look at a genuine molecule their packaging is usually like so good but if you look at counterfeit they've really manufactured it in very different conditions and the packaging might not look so good so it might be damaged might be torn uh, so if you look at also just the outer packaging how this product is packaged you can actually tell that this is not the way this manufacturer packages this product and um, you can report that as counterfeit you can even, even look at the dimensions of the product for example uh, these pens if you look at it you can see that they are the same dimensions like same width same length and same height so a counterfeited medicine it could have a different dimension from your original molecule so for example if you get your drug maybe this is shorter than this one then you'd start questioning like hey why is this shorter it, it is usually this length why does it really look different so if you look at even the dimensions of the packaging look at your pack is it usually like a pack of six then now it's a pack of whatever a 10 or something like that but then there are some medicines which come in different packages again you also need to confirm that um, a point that i have noted down on how to uh, spot the fake medicines is by discussing it with the doctor or pharmacist so for instance you've been put on your medicines and then uh, for example um, if it's an antibiotic within two to three days you should start seeing a change when you have completed the dose then you do not even feel better when you've taken this medicine for a long period of time and you're not getting better you're even getting worse then you should actually go and consult the doctor tell them that i took this medicine and it's important to go with that medicine like i went to this pharmacy you prescribed for me this medicine i bought this medicine but i am not getting better like my symptoms are getting worse i'm not feeling okay so that product will be investigated 
and they will check whether it is counterfeited or not so if you're a patient and you're on a medicine and you're not like um getting well please make sure you report that because suspected therapeutic failure can be an indicator that this medicine is a fake then uh, one sure way of actually determining whether a product is counterfeited or not is by doing lab conducting laboratory tests on the product so maybe now this patient has come said i was on this medicine and then this medicine i'm not getting better like this medicine is not helping me i'm not getting better so what uh the company does they will send this uh, medicine or the pharmacy and poisons board will send this medicine to a laboratory for testing so if they send this medicine to the laboratory for testing and they find out that the components are actually less then uh, that medicine could be a counterfeit and they could do laboratory tests and find out that this medicine even contains it doesn't even contain the active ingredient it doesn't even contain um what is supposed to contain for you to for it to help you to get better so for instance i will explain this is supposed to contain insulin so for example if they take this out they go to analyze in the laboratory then they see it doesn't contain insulin then this might this will be termed as a counterfeit because at the end of the day it does not contain the correct amount of um, it does not contain the api first and it does not even contain the correct amount so most people counterfeit these medicines and i was really a report on counterfeiting and um i saw that in the u.s uh the counterfeited products usually contain very toxic um, chemicals for example they can contain lead they contain mercury and we all know the uh, lead poisoning cases the mercury uh, poisoning cases and then they also contain just starch some of them they just go take maize starch they compress they tell you it's a tablet so that's a counterfeit then they label it and say yeah this contains this so it's a fake medicine so laboratory tests will confirm that uh, this product is counterfeited so basically fake products or counterfeited medicines first they do not contain the correct ingredient now let us look at now the impact of counterfeit or fake medicines so one they contribute to a lot of morbidity and mortality so by mortality i mean like so many people die as a result of uh, counterfeited products i saw a report i think they were saying about seventy thousand uh people or children they usually die every year because of fake medicine so for example this is a child who's sick and then they are given an antibiotic the antibiotic maybe is counterfeited and maybe the person who administered the medicine is not aware that this medicine is counterfeited so you see this person will continue becoming sick and eventually they die even look at anti-cancer products if you have anti-cancer products and you're constantly injecting this person now with these things like uh, counterfeited products that contain things like mercury lead you're even contributing to acceleration of disease another impact of uh, fake medicines is anti antimicrobial resistance so we've been talking about like amr amr so for example if this person uh, manufactures a medicine which has very low uh, quality or very low active ingredient and it's of very low quality for example they just um keep very low um, for example okay let me use this for example this is someone who's counterfeiting amoxicillin let's say then this person will only take a very small uh, quantity of amoxicillin put in the tablet put a lot of starch or whatever it is that the shenanigans they're putting in uh, form the tablet compress the tablet and then they sell it at very cheap prices so once they sell that um I will come maybe i have an infection then i go buy that amoxicillin since it has very low amounts of um, the ingredient then this is what will happen um the bacteria in my body will be able to fight that um, amoxicillin because it's in very low quantities very low amounts then there'll, there'll be an emergence of resistance and that's why right now we are crying resistance 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 so counterfeiting is a major problem that is contributing to resistance another impact of fake medicines it creates a loss in confidence in the healthcare system so for example you walk into this pharmacy they sell for you this product and then later you found out it's counterfeited what impact will you have 
or what thoughts will you have about that pharmacy you'll say yeah this person sells to me fake products will you say this product this person just sells fake products you see it will have an impact on someone and then someone will not even have confidence in that person so it's good that if you spot a counterfeited medicine it's good to speak out because at the end of the day it may affect you as a business it also affects like major pharmaceutical companies for example i've seen um Pfizer. Pfizer was saying like one of their commonly uh, one of their commonly counterfeited medicines is Viagra, like the Sildenafil. Sildenafil, they call it Viagra. Yeah. So I watch uh, these negative effects. These are some of the reasons why we should be on the lookout. Now, for example, if you spot uh, or you suspect a counterfeited medicine, you as the public, what are you supposed to do? One, uh, the normal thing that you're supposed to do is go back to that healthcare provider. Tell them I'm on this medicine, but I suspect it doesn't look like the way I know this medicine usually looks like. Then they'll be able to actually contact the company and then the company follows up. Also, you can report to Pharmacy and Poisons Board and it will follow up on the processes because they have measures and ways of containing the counterfeited medicines so yeah um i hope this video has been helpful to you it's been helpful if it's been helpful please let me know in the comment section also if you have any questions um about anything you want me to address or talk about please let me know in the comment section so guys um thank you so much for watching this and thank you so much for the contribution i really appreciate thank you so much please subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye bye